What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach and welcome to part four of the Watch Me Build, a Facebook campaign for e-com clients. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to the final video of this little four part video series. Uh, so again, just quick updates to everyone. This is not a real client, it, this is for educational purposes only. The product that we've chosen is the Galaxy Light, um, which is basically the this one basically. So just, you know, it, it creates this Galaxy effect in your room. Uh, we found a fictional client called Spectra Light Store. So this is not my client, it's just for educational purposes only. Um, we've discussed how to set up the campaign, what you need to look out for, why you need to go broad rather than you know, going hyper-targeted and laser-focused, etc. Um, what kind of buckets we need to focus on and so on and so forth. And then in this video, we're actually going to be setting up the advertisements and then I'll show you guys how to also set up the middle of the funnel. So in terms of the ads, image one. Then we're going for single image, that is fine. Usually for me, carousel does not perform as well, um, especially on the top of the funnel. So I like to just use a single image um, for the top of the funnel. Then add media, so for that we will actually need um, some images. So what we'll do is we'll find some nice looking images on AliExpress. Um, that's actually quite a good one. Can we save these as images or will it be saved as a web? Yeah, I thought so. Um, what we'll do, we'll just Google some images, which I am almost 100% sure we will find. Galaxy, what was it, projector light, right? Galaxy projector light, images. Let's see. I, I just want normal images. I don't want all this fancy stuff around it. Um, no, no. Actually, I like that one. Even though it's not completely what we're promoting, it's still saved as a web image. Unless that's some kind of setting. Let me see. Web image. Have I done something wrong where it just you know, saves us like this really random? Save the image as web image. Okay, let me see. Pinterest. Come on, Pinterest, please. Yes, there we go. JPEG. That is what we were looking for. JPEG images. Um, that, that's actually quite a good image if it was square. Let's see what else we've got. Another one from Pinterest. I like that one. It's not completely square, but we can work with it. What else we got? I like that as well. I actually think video would work quite well with this. Um, it's going to be a pain trying to find a video right now. That wasn't a that was a web image. Did you see that? Okay, actually, you know what? Let's let's try and find that a a, a quick video if you can find one. Um, Galaxy projector light there we go is there an actual advertisement that could be an advertisement um, or what we can do rather than ripping something off of YouTube actually let's see is there, if this is an advertisement we use this no it's a review what about this okay so that's actually an advertisement so we'll use that um, so YouTube to MP4 converter, MP3, actually, I think it's keepvid.com, right? Keepvid.com. Drag and drop, select, e no, it's not keepvid.com. YouTube to MP4, converter, MP4 video, 360. Let's just pretend that was 4K Ultra HD Retina display. Okay, so that is done. So we've now got a few images and we've got one video as well. Add media, add video, upload, um, downloads, there we go. Just waiting for that to load. So with regards to like the size, I always recommend 1080 by 1080 unless you're going for Instagram stories. Then it used to be 1920 by 1080. I'm not 100% sure that is still correct. 
nowadays I just go for the square one anyway. Um, it for some reason just seems to work the best. So edit video, and here we can actually start trimming and changing our video. Let's see what that looks like. So we'll just leave it as is for now. Uh, oh, actually no, so stories we'll leave as is. So we'll leave that with the, the, the like long ways and then for the feed, etc., we will crop it. We'll crop it to one by one. And then there we go, just apply that. Okay, just waiting for that to crop. And then in the meantime, I'll actually just switch off some of these tabs. Hate having too many tabs open. Okay save okay there we go so add is undeliverable for the income feed edit your video to meet the requirements is that because it's not square asset customization okay let's let's just create it and then see how far we get um if you get pulled up for not using the right size then we'll either remove the video or um, make a few little changes for it but i do think for, for a product like this i think the video would actually work quite well now we might get a notification that this uh, website does not contain the pixel that we've got because we ha haven't actually got the pixel but to be fair it looks like we are allowed to actually run this no payment methods that is because it's a new account i'll sort that in just a moment then for the text what we now need to do is or what i like to do is use different headlines different ways to get that person to become interested in the product so we can use different angles so for this product um what we can do is we can use the angle of uh sleep or tiredness so we can say something like hey this galaxy light helps you get to sleep quicker i don't know um what we can do is we can also go the near drought and say listen this galaxy light is very informational it will help you discover more about the galaxy um and then lastly we can do something like uh sleep educational relaxation maybe if we can you know make that a little bit different than sleep so hey this this uh, wake up light will help you, um, or wake up light, this galaxy light will help you relax more, which will end up making you sleep better. Actually, you know what? Let's just uh, like clump those two together. So sleep, educational, um, and then we can just have one for light. You know, this will light up your room and it'll look like the cosmos and stuff like that. It's something along, along those lines. And like I said, put a bit more time and effort into this. I'm just doing this quickly just to show you guys. You know, I'm just going through the motions, but really focus on the pain points or the, um, you know, basically the, the benefits of the customer, okay? So primary text can be something like, um, I don't know, bring your room to life with the Galaxy Light, something like that, or bring an atmosphere to any room with the Spectra Light in this case. So bring an atmosphere Bring a star-like, maybe. I think bring an atmosphere sounds negative, so as, a, as if it's like the hostile atmosphere. So bring a star-like atmosphere to any room with the spectra light. Bring a ray of art into your home. I don't like that. With the spectra light. And then we can just say something like, um, click here. And then just have the URL to store. This works with like this kind of product. I wouldn't do like with any high ticket item. I wouldn't actually have the link in the the basically in the uh, the text. I do think this is very small. I do think we need to add a little bit more to this. Even though it's a video, it's usually what I do with the with the copy, I'll do long form copy image or short form copy uh, and a video. In this case, it is a video, but it doesn't really give much information. So maybe another extra sentence would actually do its do the work. Um, to be fair, what we can even say is bring a star like atmosphere to any room with the spectral light. Um, we are we're selling out quickly, so hurry while stocks last. I don't think that's correct English. We're selling out quickly, so hurry. Uh, so hurry up maybe hurry up while stocks last okay and then maybe a little emoji have we got light emoji or something light um, what's the like the the alchemist 
Was it that one? Surely it wasn't. Nah, there was definitely a better one than that. Let me just quickly check this. Um, it used to be purple, that's what I know. Surely it wasn't. Actually, that's, that's actually quite nice as well. It's like this little coloured thing going on. But let me just quickly... There we go, that's it. Crystal ball, not the alchemist thing. So there we go. We'll sell that quickly while stocks last and then just maybe... Um, some kind of exclamation mark or something. No, maybe something red saying uh, hurry up. Technical symbols, no. Something like that. Didn't seem to get that emoji, but okay, let's just, let's just, if it hasn't gotten the emoji, we'll just continue. Yeah, okay, it actually has. So let's just leave it at that. Remove the last exclamation mark. Click here, the special light store. Okay, that's fine. So that is uh, primary text number one. Then for primary text number two, we'll just duplicate it and then we'll change the first sentence. So rather than bring a star-like atmosphere to any room, we can say something like, um, fall asleep quickly uh, with the vibrant colors of the, ah, that, uh, that's terrible, hang on. So rather than force you quickly, drift away smoothly with the vibrant colors of the cosmos. Was that too airy fairy? Now, nah, let's just try it. Okay, and then the last one. So we've got star-like atmosphere, which is like the sort of educational one, which I mentioned. Drift away smoothly, which is a sleep one. And then um, something with lights or something like that. Explore the, explore the wonders of the spectral light space emulation bring so what did i just say explore the wonders explore the wonders of the space like atmosphere explore the wonders of the cosmos uh, no idea explore the, so the wonders of the cosmos with the spectral light let's just do that spending far too much time on this and then we're selling out quickly so hurry up whilst that's last okay and then just for the Headline will just use something like um, transform your bedroom with the spectral lights. Transform your bedroom into a galaxy with the spectral light. Okay, so that is um, the very first sort of ad. And then, as I mentioned, what we will now do, let me just see if it will let me publish this. Do I need to add my payment info? Probably do. Continue. Okay, so I just quickly add the payment info. Okay, and we are back and that campaign is published. So I'll just quickly um, just delete the, the shells of the other campaigns. Okay, so we've got our broad ad set, we've got our first image. And then what I'll do is, oh, let me just quickly delete these again. There we go. Okay, so one campaign, top of the funnel, one ad set, which is broad, and then we've got our one image um, with the two pieces or three pieces of copy. I said two, but let's just do three. Then what I'll do is I'll duplicate this original campaign, call this image two. And yes, you could have done this all within the one image, but like I said, I like to know the data. So add image this time, not the video. Desktop. See which one is nice. Let's just do this one. Open. Next. Yes, that is fine. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll just call this video one, not image one, or creative one if that's what you wanted to do. And then we just call this one image one. Okay, so we've got one image, one video. Okay, we've all got the same uh, URLs, etc. same primary text, continue. 
why is it making me set up this again it's literally the same account just close this okay so that is set up then in terms of the ad sets we're going to duplicate this entire ad set so within the with the images etc duplicate all of that and then what we're going to do is rather than have broad we'll just have this interest based now for those of you that are in my paid program you guys will know exactly how to actually get all these interests etc but i'm just going to quickly do this for now so rather than just doing everyone that is interested in um whatever let's just start trying to figure out okay who would actually be interested in the galaxy light um let's see bedtime light nothing found what else can we do um which lights lighting ambience party game i'll, I'll just put ambience is it like this no okay um what can we do for interests relaxation maybe relax maybe bedtime see what comes up interest in bedtime uh, maybe gamers you know they, they usually they have a lot of lights um, when they're doing streams etc so gamer um, and so on and so but you get the point right and maybe a relaxation technique um, meditation I don't know what you can even do is maybe make the ages a bit uh, you know basically limit the ages maybe people that are 65 plus won't actually have the galaxy light so maybe do something like okay um to 34 or something like that and so on and so forth okay so that is basically how you set up the campaign so i'm not going to publish because it will make me fill out my payment details again one campaign two ad sets one broad one interest based then within the ad sets we've got um let me just so we've got one interest Oh, okay, so the other interest is actually from broad as you can see here so within the the one ad set we've got one video and one image and then every um piece of creative so as well as the video as well as the image i've got three pieces of copy and they're all directing people to the website url okay so that is basically the top of the funnel then in terms of the middle of the funnel what we need to do is we need to set up a custom audience for this so for this, we need to go to uh, business tools and then you go to audiences and then make sure that you're selecting the right ad account. Then create a custom audience, click on website and then make sure that you select the right pixel. Obviously, you know, this is not the pixel for the Spectralite because we don't actually own that uh, store or website visitors in the last, for example, 180 days. And then what we can also do is exclude people that have made a purchase, but of course, we don't actually have pages have been set up for this pixel but hypothetically speaking okay so then what we could have said is okay we only want to target people that are being on the website but we don't want to retarget people that have already made a purchase because you're not going to buy another galaxy light again okay and then if let's say hypothetically speaking we've done 30 days which is the warmest of the website visitors but the audience is too small then you increase it to 60 and so on and so forth until the actual audience starts running so if you notice that you're, you haven't got a lot of data and you want to target people that have been on the store in the last seven days and it won't run, then just expand the size of the audience that you want to create. So usually with smaller stores, I just do 180 days and just try and target, get as many people in that middle of the funnel as possible. Give the audience a name, so BP, MOF, uh, website, visitors, 180 days, create audience. There we go, it's pending, but we can still use it. Ads manager, create um, conversions um, again just as usual BP MOF continue and then with the ad set rather than creating an audience so again just set up purchases so rather than creating that audience what we do is we go to custom audiences here and select BP MOF and then just leave everything as is and now what it'll do is we'll only select people that are part of the audience which in this case is people that have been onto the website uh, but haven't made a purchase so if we go back let me just click on pan here go back to our little flow here it will basically target people from this point onwards and because we excluded purchases um, in our hypothetical situation it'll only select this audience 
And then what you can do if, for example, you notice that you're getting a lot of website visitors, but not everyone that is on the website is as interested and got a lot of data, then we can say is okay, view, uh, select people that have viewed content but haven't purchased. And then with the retargeting, with the bottom of funnel catalog sales, you can say, okay, only target people that have added to cart but not purchased and so on and so forth. And what you can even do with the, um, you know, with eventually when you've actually got the store up and running, you can actually retarget people that have purchased. So create a custom audience of people that have purchased in the past and then upsell them on other products on maybe a higher ticket product. Maybe, okay, you've got the Galaxy Light now, Look at these hue bulbs, look at this lead strip and so on and so forth. Okay, so hope you got something out of this video series. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more about, you know, setting up campaigns for your clients, then I highly recommend you check out my Lifestyle Design Community Facebook group. It will be linked in the description box down below. It's basically a community of like-minded people, you know, that are sharing knowledge and information on social media marketing. So make sure you check that out. There's also a free beginners course in there as well. If you have not, um, you know, gotten your first client yet, then I highly recommend you check that out because it will show you exactly how you can get a client as soon as possible. But without rambling on too much, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, and we have finally arrived at the end of the last video of this four-part series. So if you have been following along, you understand the value of all the pixel events, you understand the funnel, whether that is top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel, you know what to do in every particular situation and you now understand how to set up a top of funnel campaign completely from start to finish. And of course, you also understand how to retarget those website visitors. Now, if you wanna know more about getting results for your e-com clients, how to set up campaigns for either your own e-com store or your e-com clients, then what you can do is you can click on the link in the description box down below where we can basically hop on a free strategy call, which is basically just a call between you and I um, to get to know each other a bit better, uh, to see basically where you're currently at, where you wanna go to. If I'm the right person to take you to that next level to, you know, to basically build out your agency, if I am, then I will offer you a place in my coaching program. If not, then I'll basically show you, you know, some other methods that you can get started, maybe some free resources from our own sort of training vault. Uh, and like I said, it's just a very chilled out call. There's no hard sell or anything like that. It's just basically to see if you are a right fit for my program and if I'm a right fit to be coaching you. But for now, I'm going to wrap this video here. Leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do more video trainings like this. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.